Um, in this video, we're going to look at uh, quadratic equations uh, whose solutions involve complex numbers. Um, so here are the examples we're going to look at. Uh, I'm just going to uh, recite one result that we stated earlier when we introduced complex polynomials, which says if all the coefficients of the equation are real, then the roots are real or if they are complex they occur in complex conjugate pairs okay so let's get on with the first example we have got uh, 4 z squared plus 25 the coefficients here are 4 and 25 they are both real so we expect that the roots are either real or conjugate pairs so let's see since uh, there is uh, only one term involving z which is going to make uh, z the subject of the formula so we take the 25 to the right hand side it becomes minus and then now if we take the 4 to the right hand side it becomes divide so now z is simply going to be obtained by taking the square root remember whenever we take the square root we get the plus or minus sign um, so this is going to be equal to plus or minus 25 over 4 um, square root of and then square root negative 1 square root negative 1 is i so square root 25 is 5 square root 4 is 2 so it's going to be plus or minus 5 on 2 i and of course if we plug this here uh, we will find that it does satisfy the equation in the second example we have uh, 2z squared minus 2z plus 5 equal to 0. This time the coefficients are 2 minus 2 and 5. So again, we expect that this result must hold. We're going to solve this one using the quadratic formula. So minus b is going to be 2, then b squared is negative 2 squared, minus 4 times 2 times 5, all divided by 2, a which is going to be 2 times 2. Um, inside uh, that square root, um, we are going to get 4 minus it's going to be 8 times 5 it's going to be 4 minus 40 so this is going to be square root of 36 all divided by 4 then uh, again uh, the square root of a negative is just going to give us a uh, purely imaginary number Square root 36 is 6, and square root negative 1 gives us i all over 4. So this is going to be 1 plus or minus 3i all over 2. And as you can see, these two solutions are complex conjugates, as uh, we predicted. Um, then for part c... Um, we have um, z squared plus 3 plus 2i, z plus 5 plus i. So this time a is 1, b is 3 plus 2i, c is 5 plus i, because i is just a constant. So by the quadratic formula, this is going to be negative of 3 plus 2i and plus or minus square root of 
3 plus 2i, that's b squared. 4ac, so that's what we're going to have inside. That square root all divided by 2 times 1. We're going to have to work out the term inside the square root. So we just take a uh, little detour. Um, so this is going to be 3 squared, which is 9. Then 2 times 3 times 2i. So that's 2i there. Then 2i squared, which is going to be 4i squared, which is minus 4. So we're going to have 9 minus 4 plus, it's going to be 3 times 4. It's going to be 12i. So this is going to be 5 plus 12i. So that means inside the square root, we are going to have 5 plus 12i minus 20 minus 4i. Uh, 12i minus 4i is 8i. So this is going to be 8i minus 15. So going back to our z, so that tells us that z is a negative 3 plus 2i plus or minus square root of 8i minus 15. The next assignment we have is to work out square root of uh, 8i minus 15. Okay, um, we are going to use the De Moivre's, um, um formula to do this. So the first thing, if we write this in coordinate form, it's going to be negative 15 8 so that means this complex number uh, is uh, in the second quadrant um, this complex number is in the second quadrant this is minus 15 this is 8 we need r so r going to be the square root of 8 squared plus negative 15 squared. Um, this is going to work out to 289. And that is, it's got a 289, it's just 17. Um, then the argument, so this angle here, it's just going to be the inverse tangent of uh, negative 8 over 15. This is the angle here. Okay, so that tells us that theta is going to be, so it's going to be 180, then we take away that angle. We need it in exact form. So we're going to use the calculator for this. Then the roots, so 8i minus 15 is going to be 17 cis theta plus 360, I'm working in degrees, to the power 1 half. So it's going to be square root 17 C I S theta mm, plus three sixty K so this should be K here all over two where K is an integer. So let's call this R K. So then uh, there's gonna be two of them. If we choose K is zero, so when uh, K is zero this is 17 cis theta over 2. 
then we're going to use the calculator to get these um, so first make sure that uh, the calculator is in the degrees mode okay then we need to work out that uh, argument first 180 minus inverse tangent um, so inverse tangent it's uh, 8 over 15 15 so that's the value uh, then we're going to store it so let's store it as um, um, a okay then so our theta is a uh, sorry this is square root here so when k is zero this is going to be square root 17 times the cosine so that's the real part uh, remember our theta is a theta over 2 so that is the real part it's 1 then um, for the imaginary part we change this to sine so just sign here oh. a over 2 okay and that gives us 4 so that means it's a 1 plus 4i then the second one uh, when k is 1 so that's what we're going to have so we're just going to go back to the same formula and then just do a plus 360 all divided by 2 so um, if we open brackets here um a plus 360 uh, divided by 2 yeah so that is the imaginary bit so it's negative 4i then if we change this to cosine then that should give us the real part so cosine here uh it's not um yeah, so that should be fine, then equal. So that is negative 1. So we're done with the roots. Okay, so we can conclude. Square root 8i minus 15, simply plus or minus 1, plus 4i. So we're now going to go back and plug these in, in here okay so we're going to say uh, therefore the z which is negative 3 plus 2i plus or minus square root 8i minus 15 all over 2 so this is negative so that's going to be 1 plus 4i all over 2 uh, then if we do the uh, negative case of this minus 3 minus y minus 1 is minus 4 minus 2 minus 4 is minus 6 if we do the plus case we're going to get minus 2 plus uh, 2i so here we're going to have negative 2 plus 3i or minus 1 plus i and as you can see these ones are not complex conjugates because our coefficients here see these two are not real so that is in agreement with uh, that uh, result that we stated earlier right uh, so at this point we're going to give you just uh, just take a few minutes work through d and e um, you can pause the video and then when you continue the video then 
you can compare your solutions with uh, ours. All right, uh, we're now going to scroll down to our solutions for D and E. I'd like to thank you for visiting our channel and watching this video. We hope that the material is useful. Um, please do, of course, uh, subscribe to our channel. And if you've got any questions, uh, please post them in the comment section. We'd like to hear from you. If you are happy with the video, of course, we'll be um, happy to hear from you as well. And uh, all right, so for D, we have got a quadratic equation where all the coefficients are real. So expect the answer to be either real or complex conjugate pairs. So we plug in to the quadratic formula and simplify. This gives us minus 1 plus or minus i, which are complex conjugates. Um, in E, you can see that one of the coefficients is not real here. That means we expect our answers not to be real and not to be complex conjugates. So if I plug these in here, 6i squared is negative 36. So 40 minus 36 is 4. So it's going to be minus 6 plus or minus 2. And then this simplifies to that. And notice these are not complex conjugates because the plus or minus is not on the imaginary part. All right, thank you.